You're listening to the Cyclex Podcast, your number one source for junior cycle and leaving cert tips. We make exams easier. Welcome to the first Study Clicks podcast of the new school year. This is a very special episode because we have a very special guest. And not only do we have a very special guest, we have a special new guest presenter. Uh, presenting with me for the first time is Luke Tuhi. Say hi, Luke. Hello, Nessa. Great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you. Uh, and you might know Luke's face from the Study Clicks TikTok page. He makes very funny TikToks for us. You'll know it's Luke because he's the only boy on the Study Clicks TikTok <laughs> team. And uh, we thought because Luke is such a TikTok expert, who better to have on when we interview another TikTok <laughs> expert? We're so happy to have her on the podcast. It's Ashling Walsh. Hi guys, thanks for having me. <laughs> so good to have you. Ashling, I'm just going to kick it off by saying, first of all, congratulations on your absolutely phenomenal results. I think we all saw that kind of touching thanks, video Luke. with your mother. It was, really, <laughs> it, was, it was really nice to see that finally all the hard work had paid off. Well done. Um, thanks. Uh, I suppose that's not the only reason we know you, because your great results. Uh, all throughout the Leaving Cert, uh, we have been seeing you on our screens. How did it feel being the unofficial Leaving Cert correspondent on TikTok? Oh God, to be honest, it was a bit, I feel a bit conflicted about it, to be completely honest, because I did love seeing people reply to me saying that like I helped them, because I actually got so many lovely DMs of being like, you helped me, you motivated me, which was so lovely, Mm. but it kind of came out of nowhere then, and there was a lot of attention, and I had never really, because I'm not that, like I'm quite a small TikToker, like I had never really gotten that much attention at once, so it was a little bit overwhelming, but I still enjoyed it, I thought it was pretty fun, Yeah, pretty good. Did you feel like there was a certain pressure put on you then because you had kind of branded yourself as this all-knowing TikToker that knows about the leaving (laughs) search and were you expecting everyone to think, you know, oh, she has to get 625, she has to, you know, were you expecting that? Yeah, no, definitely. I think I was more nervous to put it on TikTok than I was for my college because I could hear, I was thinking, like, if I don't do well, I could hear the comments already going, she did eight hours a day and she didn't even get her course. So um, I definitely felt a lot of pressure, but... At least it turned out well. It went well, so yeah. It, yeah, it went well. Thank God. <laughs> I was meeting people on nights out on results night. I was meeting people on nights out. And people were coming up to me going six two five, and I was like, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been such a celebrity. Oh yeah, all my all my crowd was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I know, like from being in sixth year, like leaving cert, you kind of feel like you kind of get tunnel vision a bit, and leaving cert is yeah. your entire life. And like, th- was it everything you expected it to be? Like um, when you actually sat the exams, the exams, the, no, the exams were actually they literally felt like a big summer test. Like it felt the yeah. exact same as doing like your Christmas tests. Um, so the exams themselves were not like anticlimactic, like a little bit anticlimactic, but the year itself flew by I thought that it would drag and I think it just felt mm-hmm. so fast my exams because I did politics I had the last exam so the leaving cert itself felt so long because my leaving cert was like a month <laughs> it was oh just dragging yeah. and everyone else was finished and I was like let me end please <laughs> yeah pop pulse was on the very last day wasn't yeah. it yeah oh it was like gosh. the 28th I had friends who were done like the 16th and I was like I'm not even halfway through <laughs> that's actually so- and people are like, oh, you have all week to study. And I'm like, that's not like, that no. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to get it over and done with, please. Yeah, the people who are finished within the first week made great choices when they were choosing they their really subjects. They really did. My whole politics class was like, we should have reconsidered our choices. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel like immediately afterwards and like when you had like nothing to do like that that summer was it really strange oh no uh, to be honest I was loving it I needed to catch yeah. up on sleep so badly I was just <laughs> <laughs> and I hadn't had a job at that stage so I was just doing nothing for about two weeks and I was living my best life sleeping all day catching up on all my Netflix shows <laughs> <laughs> I was, gonna, yeah, the, I was going to say, is there like any subject in particular that like you that took you by surprise, like one you thought was going to be really easy, but then it wasn't or like vice versa, you thought it was going to be hard and then um, it's actually grand? In, I'd say English and history were two for the actual exams that surprised me a bit. English, because I got my results that's yesterday or today, you could see the marks. 
um oh, yeah. and English was definitely I've heard a lot of people say that it was graded harder than that they would usually get people are usually like h1 h2 students getting h4s so that one was a bit surprising I thought it might go a bit better for a lot of people um and history history I loved history as a subject like actually the content of it like I found history really interesting but the history exam is like the most stressful thing I've ever done just because of the time limit it's so like trying to write like eight pages in 40 minutes is just it's not it's not fun <laughs> yeah I suppose for any like um people listening to this that are maybe going into fifth year or picking their subjects or you know thinking about that down the line or have a few weeks to change their minds do you think um do you have any advice for them when they're thinking ahead picking their subjects you know like you said there if you knew maybe last year that pol- <laughs> politics <laughs> on the last day of the leaving search maybe even more about the actual exams um yeah. do you think that certain combinations might be more challenging than others I know a lot of people like to do two sciences because there could be a little bit of overlap with biology and ag science etc is there anything yeah. that you kind of for subject choice wise that you would tell someone younger than you I think first of all you obviously have to know what you want to do definitely like in in a range like if you know you're going to go into sciences you need to find out if you need to sit chemistry or something like that because for me I am not a sciencey person so I didn't do any sciences because I didn't need it and um, so f- definitely first of all knowing what you want to do and then I would say subjects subjects that you actually enjoy because uh, studying is not I don't know it doesn't feel as much as a chore if you sort of enjoy it more like I would never be able to study two hours of biology because I just hate science but two <laughs> hours of history doesn't feel as bad like yeah. yeah that's such yeah. good advice do what and you enjoy if you could go back in time one year to you know maybe back to where you were September of 60 or facing this big year ahead of you and it can seem <laughs> it can seem so daunting it is uh, yeah is there anything that you would tell past Ashling <laughs> maybe to make her TikTok account sooner or something like that and <laughs> um, maybe yeah, something more then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep the content going you don't know what's gonna happen and uh, yeah is there any advice that you give yourself uh, back then think just tell myself that the hard work pays off like there's nothing more validating than doing a lot of hard work and like opening your results and it's just it's just such a good feeling like knowing that it paid off and also probably just tell myself to calm down a bit not be so overwhelmed (laughs) like because like you'll get through it like it's definitely hard like it's not going to be easy but you'll get through it and you'll be fine that's what I tell myself yeah that's the exact thing I would have told myself as well as just like please yeah. take it easy like look after yourself You'll eight hours fine. is maybe a bit too much yeah. yeah and everyone always says you know it's not the end of the world and you're always like okay but you're like knee deep in work and it's Christmas and it's the mocks are coming up and it does it does feel like yeah. it's the end of the world but yeah no it, it is important to take that chill pill and be like listen this is all gonna be over in eight months you know it's it's all gonna be finished and yeah it's good to know it definitely yeah it definitely does feel like the end of the world because I know people like a lot of people say that it's not the end of the world and there's other routes but sometimes like when you want a course so badly and you don't know of any other routes it definitely does feel like the end all and be all or Mm. whatever that phrase is be all end all (laughs) Be all end all. Be all end all, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I, I, like, I don't even know. <laughs> That's not a leaving cert subject, so it's okay. No, it's yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting great in it, so I don't need to know. <laughs> I remember that, like, the day that I got my results, it was all like the focus is nearly on people who are disappointed. So then you hear lots of things like, oh, the leaving cert doesn't matter. And I'm just like, I'm so happy with my results. I'm like, don't tell me it doesn't matter. Like, I'm just wasting a year of my life. It does to me. <laughs> I think I think yeah. the main thing is that like it matters to people who need it to matter. You can kind of make it what you want it to. Yeah. So if yeah. you're not academic and you're not into this and you want to do something, maybe an apprenticeship or something, then it, it won't matter in your case. And um, obviously you Definitely, can always try your yeah. best and everything. But for someone who does have their eyes set on a course a particular CAO course it is it can be it can feel like the be all and end all. Yeah, yeah no I'd definitely great. say that as well because if you don't need it like if you don't need to like if you want to do something else you want to do a trade you want to do a plc if you don't need as much points like you don't need to do obviously study if you want to do well do well but like just do what you need to do if you don't need like 500 points you don't need to go so hard on studying exactly everyone has their own paths yeah yeah exactly And that's something I would say, actually, ahead of CAO offers. And like, by the time this podcast goes out, the first round of CAO offers will, will be out. But it's just like, if you are Scary. disappointed, I know. <laughs> um, so like, there's people who are disappointed every year. And if you are one of those people, it's just to remember that there's like no one path into everything. I mean, you're going, people are going to be hearing this all tomorrow, but it's true. Like, yeah, there is, there's no matter how kind of daunting it might seem, there's always other ways in. Um, yeah. 
uh, just in case what I was saying earlier <laughs> was was like, yeah. oh wait. <laughs> yeah, um, and you can be you can be absolutely sure that there'll be at least like six Irish celebrities who sat there leaving cert back in like 2006 that would be tonight <laughs> being like guys it's not to be all and end all I ended up being this famous Jedward or great yeah. for it oh my gosh oh, I love Jedward <laughs> my kings I was gonna say yeah. your man Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear he he tweets it every year around GCSE that, yeah. results I'm like you were like it has been like 40 years since you did it like <laughs> let, let it go okay we get that you didn't do that great and now you're rich um <laughs> Oh, I was just going to ask, uh, like, you're probably, like, you're full of study tips, but if we could ask you for just one, like, your number one study tip, do you have one? Um, oh, God, just one. That's hard. Just one. And um, I definitely it's a very broad say... one. <laughs> it covers <laughs> <Yeah>. loads. <laughs> but this is quite a big study tip. This is a bit, it's more of a task that I would give mm. people, is to get organized. Like, there's such I think half of the worst part of the leaving cert is like the uncertainty of like whether you're going to get everything done and like just feeling like it's such a big thing to take on so I was a big I love I love a good list I'm a big list person so just get organized like what I would do is at the start of the year it literally took me about three hours but I made a list of absolutely like every topic and every chapter in all of my subjects that I needed to cover and then every day I would make smaller lists of the things that I was going to do that day and when you're like ticking things off you and you know you're going to get through it then you feel a lot better it takes a lot of the pressure off and also I love ticking I just love ticking things off Ticking is great that's like endorphins it's like accomplishment yeah yeah but lists I would say lists yeah and once you are productive it like gives you the kick to keep being productive like you keep getting the buzz off it yes yeah the validation yeah (laughs) That's why that's one thing like myself and Eber, who are uh, on the normal study kicks podcast, we'd always say is that like so much of stress comes from uncertainty, like you said, like not knowing yeah. what you want to do. So if you like actually write physically write down lists of what you want to do, it just takes away a lot of that stress. So yeah, that's a yeah. huge t- like that's a great tip to give to <laughs> anyone in sixth year right now. Yeah, no, and I went a bit overdrive with it. I like counted every single thing on my list and I knew I had like 40 things. So if I had like 40 days, I knew I could get them all done. So then it takes off a lot of pressure. So yeah, yeah, do that. So organized. (laughs) Yeah, it can be super helpful to kind of like that with the lists and with the knowing what you have to do to kind of break bigger things down. So, you know, you can look at your biology textbook and think, oh my God, I have all of these chapters study. But if then you dedicate a week to each chapter you kind of suddenly realize in no time at all I'll have them finished and then I can just revise again yeah it feels a lot more manageable and also I like a lot of people I know a lot of people say that they find it hard to study because they sit down and they don't know what to do like if you just sit there and say I'm going to study for an hour it's hard to get started so if you have a list you know exactly what you need to do you can just get done you are the poster girl for lists these days. Wow. <laughs> Everyone here is I hope they're listing what you're saying. Because... <laughs> Get rid of leaving cert girl. I'm list girl now. <laughs> um yeah, so I suppose something else that I'm sure a lot of the listeners and viewers uh would notice was that you were quite active on TikTok all throughout the leaving search. You know, you you set aside the time after all the studying for to make the videos and they weren't always they weren't always um TikTok or uh, leaving cert related, you know, you you yeah. talking trends and stuff and it seemed like you actually had a good time in living search away from the books you know you're able you're able to enjoy yourself a little bit yeah do you have any tips bit. for anyone listening for like a healthy like study life balance you know like kind of being able to take a step back and think okay this is my time I'm going to make a TikTok and get famous you know something like that <laughs> <laughs> leaving search on the side get famous first. Um, and yeah. to be completely honest I don't think like my way of studying was not that healthy like I definitely think you could have a better balance but because I literally was sat at my desk for like 10 hours a day come to like May um but before like before the last few months because the last few months is when it's like the big cram before the last few months (laughs) I would say like let yourself go out like reward yourself um just like don't be refusing you know, don't be refusing to go out and stuff. Still let yourself enjoy time with your friends um, yeah. because you don't need to study 24-7. Especially if you get organized early in the year, then you kind of have the freedom to be able to do other stuff as well. Yeah. So let yourself go out. Also, I would also say, like, study in the way that suits you. Like, don't, if you're not a morning person and you see people on TikTok, like, studying at 9 a.m., don't study in the morning. Study in the evening. Study whenever yeah. suits you. Like, make your schedule suit yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And That's I suppose... um. 
hindsight is a great thing as well. Like even you're saying now that maybe some of the study patterns that you developed coming up closer to it weren't the healthiest. And it's kind of yeah. great that you're able to look back and think, OK, if this was again, maybe I would have been a bit more, you know, gone for a walk you, once in a yeah, while. gone for a walk <laughs> once in a while and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's great. And, and I hope anybody listening knows as well that uh, just because I know, especially as you said, in the last few weeks, months, it's always going to be cram central. Everyone's always going to be stressed. And yeah. it is important then because you will regret it, I think looking back and think oh I didn't need to completely let it take over my life yeah. so it's it's good to hear that you kind of were able to say yeah I should have went for a walk or looking back yeah go yeah. easy on yourself a bit more <laughs> get yeah. out for that walk get your steps up guys <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't a question I was actually going to ask but uh I w- w- made me think of it there did you ever experience burnout from all of the study do you think um I don't know, to be honest, because yeah. like I've heard people talk about burnout, but I don't know if I've like fully experienced it. I was, de- I think I was just so focused on like getting to that college course and getting my points that I was just like powering through it. Because I was definitely like I was, I definitely got a lot like less fit. Like I could feel myself kind of, you no, know, you know, you just feel when you haven't like exercised in a long time. You just feel yourself like slowing down. Um, I think I definitely tired a lot. Yeah. Um. But I don't know, I was so focused on my goals, I just kind of powered through it. That's that's amazing, because, like, yeah, that was going to be my <laughs> next question, is that, like, your motivation is incredible. And, like, the way that you're able to say, like, I was just able to power through because I cared. Like, <laughs> like, ha- like, yeah, apart from, like, thinking of your goals, I suppose it's probably a good way of staying motivated. But, like, do you have any other kind of tips for powering through, as you say? Um, well, the goal is a big one. Like, yeah. so if you can figure out what you need to do, uh, figure out what you want to do, I mean, um, I think that's a great way of motivating yourself. I was also, this, I don't know if this is good advice. This is a little bit toxic advice. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a very competitive person. And I had this little, there's this app called Forest, right? And you can match with your friends and you can time how much study you've done. So like if I had done an hour and a half and my friend had done two hours, I was like, okay, Ashley, you need to beat her. Like it's not a competition, but like you need to beat her. So yeah. then like that motivated me as well because I just wanted to be, there's like a little leaderboard in the app. I wanted to be the top of the leaderboard. So I'd say that, that helped me along with motivation. That's yeah, actually amazing. I think- <laughs> I, I know but also don't teaching. compare yourself to other people <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly you always hear this um, don't compare yourself to other people but to a certain extent even teachers are like you know you're up against the best in the country you're up against this private yeah. school such a place that has grinds from 9am to 9pm and you're, you know there is always that element of you are it, sitting in the exam hall taking the same exam and the only the only variable that's different is who's taking it but um, yeah. I think it is kind of as you said important to also know that it isn't a competition and you know to be important and it's also important to remember like if I was someone who was aiming for a course that was maybe like uh, 350 points, you know, you might not want to try and compare your study to someone who is going for that 625, you know, they're doing the HPAT, they're being a doctor. You know, it's important to kind of know, like rationalize and be like, okay, yeah, they're doing more study than me, but you know, am I prioritizing other things? Is this, you know, you don't always have to be at the same level as your friends. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah. hundred percent. And even to have that competitive edge, uh, on yourself kind of like kind of constantly I know with that forest app I had it as well when I was in sixth year and it was like you know it kind of done it broke it down kind of day by day how many trees you get whatever I used to always be like okay I'll I'll beat myself the day before you know like it it can be be motive yeah it can be motivating to kind of like try and beat your personal record or whatever so apps like that can be great actually I think I've I've made a few TikToks about forest and myself but it can be really motivating for if that's the kind of vibe you need if you're addicted to your phone like <laughs> put it away yeah <laughs> yeah that's also another tip put your phone in a drawer literally because yeah. that's the biggest distracting like factor for me anyways just put it away put it in yeah. a drawer and then you'll stop thinking about it that's the only yeah. thing that worked for me because putting it on silent on my desk it's not good enough I will pick that phone up you got to put it away <laughs> yeah I know someone who has like a box that you can lock for a certain amount of minutes <laughs> so, and then it just like opens up and you can take your phone out if it's getting oh. extreme guys <laughs> We'll drop the Amazon link somewhere. If that <laughs> this podcast has been sponsored by Forrest and locking things away in a drawer. Yeah, and lists. And lists. And lists. And lists. <laughs> Forget the lists. Um, I suppose, as Nessa was saying, by the time this podcast is released to the general public, the CEO offers will be out. Scary, I know. Um, <laughs> and people will be listening to this in different college dorms all around the country, I'm sure, listening to their 
their once leader Ashley Walsh. Um, is there any particular? Leader, yes. Yeah. Is there any particular? Uh, is there any particular university dorm you'd like to be listening to this podcast back from? Um, is there a particular course you would like to be enrolled in by then? Uh, yeah. I <laughs> well, hopefully, I don't want to jinx it. No, it'll be fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to do law and politics in UCD, and I at one stage UCD did send me a hoodie. So if I don't get into okay. that course, that might be a little bit embarrassing, but. <laughs> Hopefully you, you can see. still wear the hoodie at least. The dog. Sorry about my dog. Oh, he's no, he cheering me on to go to UCD. He's <laughs> yeah. cheering me on. He, is, he believes. He he's like, yes, girl, you are getting it. <laughs> you will get wear out of that UCD hoodie. I will. Yeah. Um, so hopefully UCD. Yeah. Yeah. And did you find the process of picking that course very difficult? And um, I always kind of knew that I wanted to do law. Um and I always wanted to do law because I was like a big Suits watcher. I watched all those shows, How to Get Away with Murder, awesome. Suits, loved all of those, want to be a mini Harry Specter. Um, so I knew I wanted to do law. And then politics, I used to, uh, before the Leave It Cert whole thing, I used to make like little political videos sometimes. They, were, they weren't actually that political. They were just kind of like making fun of politicians. <laughs> and, um, like when Simon Harris followed me and all that. So I have an interest in politics as well. kind of want to be Taoiseach. So yeah. I want to do um, law and politics, hopefully. I want you to I be was... Taoiseach. <laughs> Yeah, we want Thank you, you to and then we'll get you back again when you're a t-shirt you like um tips yeah, for being that... t-shirt <laughs> yeah what's your number one t-shirt tip um but I was going to ask as well aside from college and kind of the university course which I'm sure as it is CEO Eve it's probably on the top of your mind kind yes, of definitely. looking past that into your like future after college is there anything you are you thinking like you'd like to be a solicitor or a barrister or are you are you really kind of more interested in the politics route I don't actually know I think I'd be a solicitor, I'd be, no, not a solicitor, I'd be a barrister over a solicitor because I kind of want to go up in court and argue with people. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. And that's exactly how it is. I'm sure there's no, other... yeah. there's no work involved. <laughs> I just no. get in there and argue. Okay, for um, but I, I really, I'd love to be Taoiseach. That's my yeah. one goal. Just be Taoiseach. But the thing is, I don't know how to, like, how do you get into politics? There's not really a clear, like, route. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I so, like a, yeah, I suppose with things like that, it's kind of, I would say get involved in like political societies within your university because I know that I I go to University of Limerick and there are quite a few societies dedicated to each political party and I'm sure maybe kind of that could get you in the right networks or something like that but I suppose you will be also be studying politics so I'm sure they will tell you at some point in your politics class <laughs> <laughs> um, how to get into it. Yeah no I definitely I join some societies maybe I'll be joining you in Limerick you never know. Yes. Maybe, That's like my maybe. second choice. So okay, okay, maybe I'll continue. see you down there. <laughs> <laughs> so I think those are all our questions for you, but I just want to say like, before you go, do you just have like one like last thing you want to say to any six years, fifth years listening to, to this now? Parting words of wisdom? Um, Parting words of wisdom. Get organized and start yeah. early. But start also early. no, like you don't need to do eight hours a day now. You don't need to be doing four hours a day. Just get on top of it do you know two hours a week it's only september and build it up that's my words of wisdom build it up, build it up because exactly. you don't want to be stuck in like december before your mocks and being like oh oh no oh no <laughs> and like it hits you and it's not fun so if you can get organized do that early <laughs> Yeah, hundreds of the mocks especially, they can be really daunting because you're like, oh, wait, is this yeah. the full exam? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like really scary. But yeah, amazing uh, last words. Um, Ashing, thank you so much for coming on to the Study Creeks podcast. We appreciate it so much. You're such a good guest. And we <laughs> like... Thanks for having me. And we'll just like, I'm sure everyone listens to this probably knows you from TikTok, but if they aren't, they can find <laughs> you on TikTok. You're Ashling Walsh, I'm pretty yeah. sure. If you type that yeah, in. Yeah, just and... Walsh. Ashing that was, and and you're doing loads of study tip videos, like, like for I anyone am. who is, yeah, yeah, that's like my last leaving. Sir, hurrah! I'm just gonna do a study tip video for every single subject I did, and that'll be it. I'm <laughs> putting the leaving cert to rest then. And yeah, and fo follow you for your college adventures. Yeah, want to see where you go? So exciting! <laughs> and I'll give a little plug to the study clicks TikTok as well. While we're talking, we'll be posting study videos, tip videos, as we usually do competitions general tiktoks you know how tiktok works i don't even need to i don't need to explain tiktok <laughs> um but yeah that that's that's everything we have to plug i suppose rate and review the story clicks podcast uh wherever you're listening and 10 out of 10 uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry who said guys. that who said that guys <laughs> wasn't me <laughs> fine we can have you back fine fine <laughs> 
thanks so uh, thank you so much as well luke wonderful guest <laughs> presenter I'll, I'll have you back on as well oh, great job <laughs> It's amazing. I'd rate it 10 out of 10 anyway. This experience, great. Everyone get on your Study Clicks podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone study really hard, make a TikTok, uh, become TikTok famous, and then maybe this could be you on the Study Clicks podcast in September of next year. Somebody has to take, somebody has to take the... the torch I don't know what the word would be for you to take the torch for me. (laughs) Someone needs to be the the new leaving Sir Girl a boy, so this is your shot. I'm done now. Somebody else... (laughs) You heard it here. You need to carry the crown. I'm, I'm thinking like Rose of Trinity, like, <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Uh, yeah. Thank, thank you so much, Ashley. We'll leave it there. Bye.